family and a God morning to you all. Yes, hello everybody. Thank you for joining us online. If you've been enjoying our season four, do drop us a comment or let us know and also be sure to invite your world to watch. Yeah, that's right. If it's a blessing to you, then be sure to share that with others and let it be a blessing to them as well. Well, we're here to help you in whatever way we can. Absolutely, and Proverbs right. is a great book to help us with our day-to-day -day practical living because after all, that's what the Bible really is. And today we're gonna look at the second chapter, Proverbs chapter two, verses one to five. And this is what it says, my son or my daughter, if you receive my words, if you receive my words and treasure my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. And here, family, we find what our attitude should be when we come to the book of Proverbs and when we come specifically to the Word of God. Right. Notice first it says, if you receive, if you receive, and then it says, if you treasure, treasure my, first you have to receive and then treasure my commands. In other words, you cannot treasure what you are not receptive and open to uh, receiving. Yeah, that's right. Okay. And you know, our love for Jesus will always be revealed by our love for His Word, because mm. Jesus is the Word. Is that's the what word. the Bible calls that's Him. Right. He's the Word of God. Absolutely. He was made flesh and He came to live amongst yeah. us. So you cannot love Jesus more than you love His Word. And Absolutely. you can't love His Word more than you love yeah. Jesus, vice versa. That's a great point. Yeah. That's a great point. So. Let's value and treat the Word as if it is the Word of God, okay? And let's be open to receive the rhema of God's Word, all right? Yeah, that's right. Because you know, John, there's a huge difference between Logos and rhema. Yeah, and we've already spoken yeah, about that before. Know we know we know the difference between Logos and Revelation. But the point is this, that if we want the Word to become revelation, and wisdom to us, then we have to be open to the Word. Open yourself to the Word. That's right. In other words, give full attention to God's Word. That's you right. know, we need to make God's Word the pavement of our lives. Each page needs to be the pavement on the life that we want and the life that we walk on. Yeah. Because if we want to be have wisdom, if we want yeah. um, prosperity, if we want peace, if we want joy, well, God's Word has to be the pavement on which That's we right. walk on. Yeah. And it has to be a revelation to yeah, us. Yeah, and I think what my wife is saying is, let's be diligent and That's willing right. to find any and every opportunity to open ourselves to the Word. That's okay. right. That's the reason we've got DCCBR, Durban Christian Centre Bible Institute, and all the courses, the books of the Bible are available for you to study. Everyone, it's all there. absolutely, it's there. It's yeah. there for you to study and engage, all right? Now, let's look at the rest of the verses. Verse 2 says, So that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Verse three, yes, if you cry out for discernment and lift up your voice for understanding, if you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, every, in other words, every aspect, he's going there of through every aspect of our lives, every aspect of your and my, my life open to the word and being willing to be diligent, all That's right? Because right. God's heart is moved when we respond to him and His Word with diligence. Absolutely, and it also shows that it's a choice that we are willing to make. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. That's right. You've got to choose to live right. You've yeah. got to choose to 
read God's word. And when we make the right choice and go all out for God and his word, we'll never be shortchanged. We'll always be rewarded. Absolutely. That is brilliant. Absolutely amazing. In other words, I mean, if we think about what does Hebrews 11 and 6 say? It says that without faith, it's impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must right. believe that he is and that is he is a rewarder of those who casually seek him. No, oh, once that. in a blue moon, seek him. No, it talks about those who diligently seek him. So what we're talking about it's is a choice. diligent. It's an effort. Being diligent in the word, coming to the word, treasuring the word, valuing the word. And when you do that, your faith will always be rewarded, okay? And we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, amen. And if we do that, I can promise you, I can promise you, doesn't matter who you are, you will never be shortchanged with God. You will always be rewarded. Amen. And we're going to pray for you. I find a lot of people, you know, the last resort that they come to is the Word. Whereas the first resort should be the Word. There should be this diligence to get to the Word. There should be this uh, pursuing to get to the Word. We should be fighting through every obstacle and, and putting everything else aside and getting to the Word. And sometimes I find that it's the last thing that people are doing, all right? You know, God's Word is the answer to everything. Absolutely. In God's Word has the answer for every problem that we face. Yeah. And you know what I love about God's Word is it's the pillow that we can always lie our head on to have peace. Amazing. Absolutely. You know, God's Word will always bring peace to every situation. Yeah. Yeah. Every promise that He gives you will be yeah. a promise to give you peace yeah. and wisdom to walk in everything. And if that you he love Jesus, you. you will love his word. Yeah, you can't no. say you love Jesus but don't love his word. That's right. So that's How can always. Can you love somebody and never communicate with them? And never with communicate them? with that's them, right. all right? But I can promise you, you'll never be shortchanged. You will always be rewarded. So, Father, Today, right now, we are trusting and believing, my God, that they would be the treasuring, the valuing of your word. That if we say we love you, we will love your word, my God. And if we love your word, we will automatically love you as well. They they are inextricably linked. And today, I want to thank you that as we do that, as we open ourselves to the word, God, that we will never be shortchanged. We will always be rewarded and we speak the blessing of God Lord Thank even as you, people Lord. engage uh, into the word and open the word and read the word and meditate the word and study the word we Thank want to you. thank you for the blessings that come the reward that comes the enriching that comes Thank God you. that there will be a fatness a spiritual fatness Lord I'm talking about that on the inside of every person, even as this hunger comes, even as this desire for the Word comes, that our minds will be shifted, our minds will be changed, that there is a transformation power, a transforming power that comes, which is part of your reward, God. And so we speak that blessing over every person in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Enjoy the rest of your day. We love you.